Here we are, back with more Our Kingdom. Uh, receive that. Okay, where am I going? Talk to Sheila to report your quest progress. Okay. Have you forgotten your promise already? Guess I forgot a promise. And if there is a way to make it up to her... Your apology is quite sincere. I forgive you, and I do have another task. These boxes of jam just arrived from the port. Please help me deliver them to the merchants in the village. I guess I could do that. Get a f she gives me a frown only an irritating mother can give, and I'm going to have to turn this music down in a second. Also, ask them if they have seen my. Also, ask them if they have seen my son Joel. I have no idea where he is. Okay. What's up, that? Alright. System settings. Um. Where is the audio? Oops. Oh well, um. System settings. It's somewhere in here. I know it. No, oh, wrong thing. There it is. Turn it down to about one. It's fine. Don't need much music around here. And from my mini map, it looks like there's a quest over there somewhere. Maybe. Can I... Alright. Trolls are a bit weird on this. That guy thinks he's cool because he can just jump the- oh, oh, wait, I can jump? Very high, okay, that's good to know. Oh, he took it. He took my box. Alright, well, let's give uh, the jam to Anita. Let's see what's over here. I should, uh... Oh, work on a different quest at once. Alright, right here. This is so unusual. So you're helping Lady Sheila deliver goods today? I suppose you are indeed a real garrison member. Keep up the good work. From now on, everyone will treat you as an adult. Perhaps you'll travel the world, meeting Maharajas and... and princesses. What? Or maybe you'll just live and work in this fishing poor all your life. You know, either way. Just remember this. In the outside world, you can buy different potions and various, uh, and various drug stores. <laughs> okay. Nice, nice way of saying there's drugs, I guess. You might find some other special items there, too. Ask her about Joel. Joel didn't come to the market today. It's a bit odd. He usually stops by. Okay. Mm, let's grab this quest just here. My boyfriend Kane always puts in a hard day's work work up at the logging site. I'm worried about him though since the forest has been getting more dangerous. Okay, I'll help her. Sometimes Kane just stays up at the logging site without ever coming, uh, even coming home. How can he get a decent meal out there? Well, with this lunchbox I've made, today sure won't be a day he goes hungry. 
There have been a lot of monsters roaming the forest, so I can't deliver it myself. If you're going to the logging site, could you give this lunchbox to Kane for me? Kane's out working at the... Could I trouble... Okay. Don't have the required number of items. Alright, I'm just gonna ignore all of this then for now. Oh, wait, I think I already accepted it from her. Let's give Jam to Betsy. Would you like to buy a piece of Beast Tusk Light Armor? We carry the armor in all sizes, and we... What is this? Wait, I clearly told Anita that I don't want any jam. It's too sweet. I like my jam salty and sour. What? Well, let's forget about the jam. About the jam. Why don't you treat yourself to some new armor? Being a garrison member in a fishing village is not exactly a dangerous job, but from time to time, you'll need to clear out some monsters. And you'll be happy to have steel between their claws and your heart. Saw him yesterday, but not today. Don't skimp on spending when it comes to armor. You'll wear it every day, and it'll save your life plenty of times. Just consider good gear a tool of your trade. Alright. Alright, how much do I have? Ten silver, so I can't get much. Um, green grass glove. Green get grass coat. Uh, let's get these gauntlets for now, I suppose. Yeah. On, wait. Alright. Oh, there's my inventory. Acquire ten loyalties. Oh. Uh. Yeah, I probably shouldn't have bought that. If what I have equipped is better, I think. Whatever. So, I should really read things over. Oh well, um, I'll get gold back. Uh, jam to Cory. Jam, at last, my toast has been going back it. Okay. That's a nice thing. Uh, he pops open the jar, dips his finger, and slurps the jelly eagerly. <laughs> I like this guy. Anita was right. The jam is perfectly sweet and tart. Would you like some? I promise my fingers are clean. Um, I don't believe you. Cray follows your gaze to the newly produced weapon. Impressive, right? These weapons all came ab from aboard. This one here, for instance, is the battle axe symbol. Oh, uh, a battle axe. It's the battle axe. Well... A symbol of strength, and over there is the staff, a symbol of intelligence. I'll give you a tip, Jelly Kid. <laughs> jelly Kid. Okay. When you have time, when you have time, just visit weapon shops in different places. You might find ex exceptionally good weapons, weaponry, at reasonable prices. Ask Corey if he has seen Joel. Joel? No, I haven't seen him today. Alright. Well, I've asked around for Joel. So, I just want to keep these. I'm just probably going to keep these short for now, though. Um, have you delivered the jam? You've truly grown. It's time for you to start saving your money. Sheila places some gleaming coins in your palm and closes 
your fingers around them. Did any of the merchants see Joel? You shake your head until you and tell her that none of the merchants have seen him today. Hearing this, Sheila irrit irritation ah her irritations start to turn to worry. Hasn't anyone seen Joel? Where has that boy gone? Sheila glances around anxiously. He can't have gone too far. She hangs her head, looking despondently at the lunchbox in her hands. I ought to go look for him. Could you bring this lunchbox to my husband, York? When you see him, ask him to find uh, you a suitable job. Alright, so that's just reviewing. And this has taken me over to York about a job. Alright. Where is York? Alright, there's York. Good place to end this too.